I'm Roberta with the Women's Wellness Garden, and uh, I'm Ogallala Lakota, Yomba Shoshone, and I'm enrolled in the Lower Rural Sioux Tribe. I'm a farmer for five years, and I do medicinal herbs, tea blends, native heritage foods, um, really food sovereignty work and land stewardship. And so we're here at the Indigenous Marketplace, and this is my booth. My name's Maria, Maria Gudinas. My native name is Ayat, which means kind woman. Um, that name was given to me by my mother, Lolita Greeley. We are from the Columbia River. Um, our tribe is located on the Warren Springs Reservation. I've been doing beadwork since I was about six years old. I'm Natalie Mitchell, and I'm an enrolled member of the Citizen Potawatomi Nation, which is originally from the Great Lakes area, uh, Midwest, so Chicago was our land. And um, we were forcibly moved off that land, and like a lot of other tribes and nations, settled into Oklahoma. So my dad and my grandparents, they're all from Oklahoma, but I settled out here with my family in the 80s, so I'm very much Pacific Northwest girl. So I started beading um, about 30 years ago um, as a teenager, uh, self-taught. Um, there was, because of a lot of the, the forced removal and, and prejudice and racism, like practicing culture didn't happen particularly in, in my tribe and in my family, especially as we got further away from Oklahoma. Um, and in the 80s and 90s, there just wasn't a lot taught to us. So I had to do a lot of self-education in learning about like our culture, our tribe, our history. Um, and so bead work was one of those uh, things that I had to do, I had to teach myself. Um, there weren't a lot of marketplaces like this when I was growing up, so I love that the children that are at these markets now will only know a time when you could go shop indigenous. So um, all of this stuff that's, that is here today is items that you could wear um, in an office setting or casual wear. Uh, it is uh, items that are worn, regalia that is used for powwows or even for ceremonial events. Um, these are these are, and I like to show these because they're the color orange for Every Child Matters. Um, but these are baby moccasins and they're made with wool. Moccasins are made with uh, buckskin, which could be deer, elk, or buffalo hide. These are made with wool. Uh, we wear these today and, and for ceremonial purposes. They're worn for powwows. Uh, some people you might even see this wearing them. Um, really proud of our breastfeeding tea here. Uh, it's called a Galacticog. It has hops and, and uh, marigold and marshmallow and oat straw. So that helps a woman produce milk for her baby. And so that's what we're about. I'm a birth worker and an earth worker. This necklace set here is made with bone, crystal, and then dentalium. Hair ties. This is made with mother of pearl and deer skin. Usually these are worn on the hair or on the fur ties, either on top or on the bottom. My style um, is very unique. Um, I just make up my own patterns and my own you know, color palettes. Whenever somebody finally decides on a nice pair, I always hold the earrings and uh, I'll tell them, you know, oh, you know, I remember when I made those or, you know, what I was doing. Um, and then I always say goodbye to my earrings because, um, you know, they're, they're a part of me, you know, forever how long it took me to make them. Whatever thoughts I was thinking or conversations I was having, they were a part of me and I put myself into them and I always say goodbye because now they're going to go off into the world and who knows how many people those one pair of earrings will meet. I bring fresh herbs so people can see what they look like, they can taste it, smell it, you know, and become familiar with it. Uh, and then they know that that's what's in the herbs. So I actually do grow this stuff. I don't buy any products and put them in there. And in the springtime, I'll bring the plant starts and then people can put those plant starts and start their own medicine garden. So I want to work myself out of a job. <laughs> a lot of folks are, they're very intentional with their dollars. Like they want to know like, um, 
Are you indigenous? Did you make this? You know, where are you from? It's not this cultural of representation from the way, way back and the way, way past. It's like, no, we're, we're right here. We're right now. We're making things. We're making modern things. Um, not everything is in the past to be put up in a museum. You can actually participate in indigenous culture right now.